It's not terribly cold, but it's cold enough. Definitely moves. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be going over the all-new GMC Sierra 1500 AT4X. Before we get into this video, though, a huge shout-out and to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah for giving me some time with this AT4X. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions, just ask for David. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a Natchez aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 14 around town and then 18 on the highway with power outputs being 420 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. And this has an axle ratio of 3.23. Before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, notice how it's like flat there on the center, and then you got quite a bit happening there off to the side. And then coming down below, we have the distinctive C-shaped LED lights with the LED headlamps. Notice the GMC logo there front and center. There is a camera just down below the logo. AT4X badge right there. You've got the red tow hooks to signify it's an AT4 product. Fog lights there on either side as well. Here's a closer look at that grill coloration, the AT4X logo, and we've got skid plate protection underneath. And when you put it all together, this truck being all black definitely has a sinister appearance to it. Come around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 275, 65, 18 in the front and over in the rear as well. For those of you wondering, 32 and a halfs. I like how the wheels are all blacked out. That's pretty cool. We've got these pretty small fender flares here. We got our 6.2L V8 badge, AT4X on the side. And then notice that the mirrors and the door handles are body painted. We've got leaf springs here in the rear. And then a big part of the AT4X package is that thing right there, the Multimatic shocks, the DSSV shocks from Multimatic, multi-chamber system. Pretty cool. I have taken one of these off-road, so just look up Ben Hardy at 4 4X off-road review if you want to see how it performs. Well, the lighting is not great today, but you guys can kind of see the full side view of the truck. I think it looks great. So here's our key fob for the truck. You've got your unlock function, your lock function, remote start, and then the drop down for the tailgate. There we go. We've got a payload capacity of 1,431 pounds. And then you guys can see we've got LED lights here. We've got that little grab handle. AT4X there, and then we do have a full outlet, and then this also has the multi-pro setup, so I just have to press, did I press the right button? Anyways, as I was saying, we have the multi-pro setup. I guess I just wasn't uh, having the magic touch there, but notice we got the kicker sound system with this as well. Now getting this up is pretty easy, just gotta lift it up, big bicep curl basically. Now here are the tail lights, and then you guys can see all of the badges here on the back end. We do have parking sensors there at the bottom, and then we've got our bumper steps. And you know what? This truck does have that cool kind of like aggressive off-roader appearance. Now I do want to mention towing capacity with this is about 9,000 pounds. Now this is where the magic happens with the AT4X. Really nice leather trim here at the top and then down below. And look at the cross stitching there and then you can see the white piping. Really cool look. And then that continues on to the seats. You can see again and then we actually do have some behind the seat storage as well and then notice that pattern continues right there and then we got more under seat storage as well leg room here in the back is solid we've got our little storage pocket right there and then look at the stitching here on the grab handle and notice we've got a couple cup holders here we've got vents heated seats usbs and then headroom is also pretty solid and of course we have the cup holder armrest notice we got keyless entry with the front door panel, again, that same nice leather trim. Look at the wood trim here at the top and then that cross-stitching design and the piping down below. AT4X, of course. Got our window controls. Notice the front two are automatic. The mirror adjustments, the mirrors do power fold in. Speaker for the Bose sound system. And then the mirrors have blind spot monitoring. That white piping really pops out. AT4X there at the top of the seat and then you can see that design continues. And then on the side here, we've got our adjustments for the seats and then we do have a massage seat function. That's what that little circle is. Of course, you can never have enough AT4X logos. And then up above here, we've got our parking brake control. This is for a drive mode, select your tow haul mode. Now that is for your four wheel drive auto, four wheel high, two wheel high, and then four wheel low. And then your light controls are just right there. And then that is for the heads up display. And finally, steering wheel adjustment is power.
Starting with the steering wheel, really nice leather trim all around, and then you've got that contrasted stitching, which matches the stitching on the seats. Paddle shifters here on the back for the 10-speed automatic. We do have radio controls just down below that. Controls for center stack, voice command controls, heat steering wheel button on the steering wheel. We do have our adaptive cruise control, and then you have your turn signal windshield wiper stock. Full digital gauge cluster, as you can see, and notice I can scroll through some different menus, see different bits of info here on stuff with the truck, but the cool party trick is there in the corner. Notice when I put in the tow haul mode, it shows it towing a trailer. And then if I pop into like the off-road mode, shows it off-road, and then there is a terrain mode. Off-road mode is for higher speed off-roading. Terrain mode is for like your low speed rock crawling. We've got our backup camera here. So we have trajectory lines that do turn with the steering wheel. And notice we've got this cool like 360 view here out of every single angle with the truck. So I think they did a great job with the camera system on this. And even a bed cam. What more could you ask for? As to the rest of the infotainment screen, um, you've got the shortcut bar here on the side and then response time with the screen, fantastic. Has Apple CarPlay, has Android Auto, and then you got that auxiliary screen which you can also scroll through different menus as well. And then yes, we got two home screen buttons right next to each other. We have our fancy stop start button. We've got our controls here for the climate system. So dual zone climate system with heated and cooled seats. And then down below, we've got this for the lane departure, parking sensors, auto stop start, tailgate drop down, hazard lights, focus camera, stability control, hill descent control, and then this does have front and rear lockers. Not sure what this cup is about, but we've got some cup holders. We've got our shifter for that 10 speed automatic, and then this does have trailer brake controls. Pretty fancy looking center console here, and you do have the wireless phone charging pad just right there. And then we do have the double glove box situation, and look at like the stitching and the piping, and then there on the dash as well, and the wood trim. Just really nice interior. And then up top here, you guys can see, we've got the camera mirror, and then this does have a sunroof, as well as a power sliding rear window. And then um, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but this has a nice premium headliner that's also part of the AT4X package. Now this truck has equipped stickers for just under $80,000. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood and hope you can now see the heads up display. Both the mirrors, we still have blind spot monitoring with the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So we are setting off here in this AT4X. And well, let's uh, just uh, talk about some things with this truck. First off, that massage seat function, definitely nice. And I will say these seats are actually pretty comfortable. Now, the thing with uh, GM seats is they definitely are a little bit on the harder side of things. I typically tend to like that, um, but some people might not. Now, aside from that, turn signal, definitely interesting sound. And uh, steering's good. I like the heat steering wheel. That's definitely coming in clutch today. It's not terribly cold, but it's cold enough. Definitely moves. Yeah, that 6.2 V8 is powerful. I will say though, I really, really hope that they put the Duramax in the AT4X and in the ZR2, um, you know, sometime in 23 or 24, because I love the 6.2 V8, but that Duramax is so good. And I'm sure that a lot of people would love this truck with a diesel engine under the hood. And it still feels like, the thing I like about the GMC Sierra though, is it still feels like a truck. Like it, it has that, you know, like beefy body on frame, like truck feel, like the new Ford F-150, for example, that kind of starts to feel more car-like. Whereas this, you know, if you, if you like the truck feel, that's kind of what this gives you. Um, so overall, AT4X, super capable off-road. Again, I did take one off-road and I mean, it just, yeah, did not struggle whatsoever. Um, I think it looks great. And the interior is really nice. Um, it, it gives you pretty much everything. And again, this is another like quote unquote Raptor alternative because yes, it doesn't technically compete directly against the Raptor because it's not a wide body Baja truck, but it is an off-road truck and it's a luxury off-road truck and it's you know pretty close to Raptor pricing. Um, and so I, I think that if you basically are not gonna take your truck off-road, this might be a great one to go for. Uh, and frankly, the uh, prices on these are not nearly as crazy as the Raptor MSRP and markup. So let me know what you guys think about the new AT4X. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this AT4X. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah. Four, give me some time with this truck. Check out the intro in the, in the description down below. Wow, that was horrible. As for David, I'll see ya.